Hi guys, today I'll show you our new free tool, Edges Toolbar. You can see it right here. It allows you to add custom buttons and assign uh, menu commands, expressions, scripts, presets, and anything else. Let's start with uh, effects. I use the fill effects a lot, and uh, I already have some buttons uh, for the fill effect. Let me just uh, remove it and add a new one. First, you need to select an icon. You can uh, select it from the list below or type in the search. Let's say palette. Then uh, apply effect and start searching for effects. Fill in our case, press save. And you can close the settings panel. Now, if you select a layer and press this button, it will apply a fill effect on top. Next, uh, let's say you want uh, to save a preset and then apply it in one button later. I have this preset with nice glow effect and our new edit fill. Uh, you can select all effects you want to save. Press animation, save animation preset. I can call it glow. All right. And now let's add it to the panel. Let's uh, add a new button and uh, I'll just select any icon for the sake of time. Use preset and select uh, your glow presets that you just saved. Okay. And now let me remove all those effects. And let's uh, press our button. And it brings back all those effects that you saved in the preset. It gives it nice glowy red look. Next, let's try bounce expression. As you know, we have a website with a few expressions there. And if you don't want to copy paste it all the time, you can add it to the toolbar. Let's add new button, select uh, any icon. Set expression and you can copy paste the expression right in this field. Now the bounce effect will only work if you have a few keyframes. So you can create a few keyframes, then select a position property and hit apply. And as you can see, it has created an expression in the position property. Let's call a menu command. You can call any command from the menu you see in the toolbar. Let's remove the existing button and I'll just add it one more time. You can select run menu item and you need to search for the menu item and don't just search for this purge because it's a drop down, you need to find uh, this command, all memory and disk cache. You can type it as you see. All memory, disk cache. Press save. Okay, and now once you click this button, it will ask you if you want to clear a disk cache. Uh, just press OK or cancel. And if you don't want to see this window, uh, we can move to our next uh, section, it's called scriptlets. Let me show you. You can uh, insert a custom script to be run when you press a button. Select any icon and uh, run scriptlet. You can paste any script here and uh, from our example, if you want to purge, uh, we have this uh, menu command list. If um, something's not available uh, in our in our previous menu command, you can go and find uh, it here and just replace the number of command in this field, and you can paste it in the scriptlet. Uh, I'll just show you another example. Uh, it's a highly requested feature to open existing project file in the folder. The code below is for Windows only, it's just for an example. Press save 
and once you click this button it will open the project selected in the folder on your hard drive and finally we have an option to run existing script it could be anywhere on your hard drive select the button and the run j6 i'll go to my scripts folder and select our Asus GIF script which is also free and now once you press it it will open that window with the script you can also arrange the order of the buttons by holding and drag dragging them top on top of bottom you can uh, adjust the scale and you can also edit existing buttons if you don't like them I will adjust them or you can remove them. I hope it helps. The script is absolutely free uh, and uh, hopefully it will stay free. Uh, depends on how much uh, work we need to put into it more. Uh, but we are looking forward uh, to your feedback and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.